All right, so I am here joined with a special guest today, uh, Dylan Kutsia, the grand, the, the grandson of the great Harry Kutsia, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, welcome to SA Boxing Talk. Thank you for having me. So you'll be making your professional debut. Uh, boxing's in the family, you know. That, that that's the main thing here. Um, are you are you? Do you think you have any pressure on you going into a fight like this, just based on your history in the sport? Well, you know, um, there's always pressure, but I feel like, you know, I thrive under it and perform better if there's pressure on me, you know. Um, they have a saying, uh, diamonds, are, diamonds are built under pressure, so I feel like I'm a diamond and I can handle it. And let, let's give you a bit of profiling here because, um, you know, obviously boxing supporters want to learn a little bit more about you since, you know, you are a name now coming into the sport. What, what division are you going to be campaigning in at the, in the professional ranks? I feel like I'm in, I'm starting now my pro debut super middle, but I think I'm gonna come down to middle, maybe it's junior middle. We'll still see, um, but it's 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 looking likely at middle it, middle it, around. There. All right. And, um, so you're finding a home. Um, obviously fighting out of Cape Town with the Brasses. So two big boxing families coming together. Talk to us about the training with the Brass team. How's it been going? Well, they, they're superb, they're amazing. I mean, they're, they're like family. They draw us very hard. They got, I think for me, you know, it's my opinion, one of the best sparring in Cape Town. Um, and they've te teached me so much and I'm so happy and grateful to be with the Bryce's Academy. And I'm just ready to make them proud and myself proud. And your fighting style. I mean, a lot of people haven't seen you yet. I mean, you, you, you may have had some amateurs uh, fights, but, you know, what is your fighting style? You know, I've thought about it. Um, I like, you know, to box, box a puncher, but I feel like I can box inside, outside, you know. This is saying to be like water, and I feel like my style is a mix between pressure and outside, you know, depending on what, what style the guy brings, I can adapt. And uh, I don't want to put a label on exactly my style, but uh, I'm most likely going to point to boxer puncher. Boxer puncher, yeah. Something right, outside, you... scientific, you know. Yeah. So, I mean, so, so you've got, you got a mixture of what you're doing, basically, is what you're saying. You, you're a mixed, uh, you know, type of guy with the, you can vary up. So you don't only do one thing, you do quite a few things in the ring. Yes, definitely. You know, I try to mix it up and try to keep it exciting. And, uh, you know, I try to I think that, you know, it's uh, for me, boxing is a thinking man sport. And um, I'm trying to think and trying to figure the guy out and see where he's, where he's open and, you know, obviously try to get the knockout. But if it doesn't come, it doesn't come. But that's what I'm looking for. I know you just mentioned, though, if it doesn't come. And a lot of boxers do say that a knockout is a bonus. Um, but you know, with 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 the legacy that 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 you have, and obviously that you that you the family name that you're going to be upholding, do you think getting a couple of knockouts early in your career is really uh, important for your profile? Well, you know, I do, sir. Um, I feel like knockouts they sell tickets more, they bring more audience. Um, but still, like I said, if it doesn't come, it doesn't come. The the most important is the win. But you know, you want to win spectacular. Um, but if it doesn't come, it doesn't come. So, I mean, the most important is the win. Is the win. But right. yeah, in the beginning, it is, it is important. But to look good and to do what your coach says, just do, I feel like that's the best. And you're a long career ahead of you. Um, you know, just this is literally fight number one of your career. Uh, where do you see, where do you see uh, boxing as a career going for you? You know, um, I've been. I thought about it for a while, and I remember I promised my grandfather on his deathbed that I will become a champion, and that's what I'm training to do. Um, so, for the long run, is to be a good boxer, go, go up in the ranks, and hopefully bring the title. Now. Without your grandfather, do you think you would have taken a part in the sport of boxing, or was it just because of him that you're doing this? You know, from a small age, he uh, instilled the boxing. Well, we, we didn't train, but he used to talk about it a lot. We watched boxing, and I remember I was laying with him in bed. So he's the one that brought boxing into me. and um, I, uh, It's in my blood, but he, he's the one that you know started everything. And I'm super great, grateful for everything that he's done 
you know, it's still hard. It's still fresh these days. Um, but, you know, um, I know it's with me. Um, I'm going to do great things in this sport. All right. And uh, I know that you're obviously going to be biased in this answer, but do you think you can go all the way to becoming a world champion? Yes, definitely. Um, I, if I didn't believe that, I wouldn't have started boxing. You know, there's no point in just wasting somebody's time, my time, the coach's time. Um, you know, I'm here, I'm ready, and I'm, I'm going to bring a title, in, definitely. All right. What's your knowledge on the South African boxing scene? So in and around your weight division, are you? do you know the boxers that are there? Are you keeping an eye on a few uh, people? Yes, there's, uh, you know, South Africa, well, internationally, I feel uh, a lot of people are sleeping on South Africa boxing, uh, especially in Cape Town. There's a lot of great boxers. I mean, I've sparred against a lot of them, um, very good, um, you know. And I know South Africa is one of the toughest fighting countries in the world. And it just, it just betters us, you know. The, the tougher the fights are, it just makes, it, makes us better. Like they say, iron sharpens iron, you know, so... There's a lot of great, especially in my weight also, there's a lot of great guys. But uh, I watch the heavyweights also. I love Kevin, Kevin Arena. He's also a very good, great inspiration, you know. Um, I just found out a few days ago he didn't even have uh, any amateur fights, the same as me. And that just uh, inspires me to know, like, he's got a lot of titles and I can do the same. You know? So... Okay, I didn't know that. So you have no amateur fights whatsoever? Uh, well, not, no, I just had five, but I mean, okay. it's, you can say it's not much. But, you know, uh, like I said about Kevin, uh, he inspired me also to show that he's done it without any amateur fight. And I, what, what's to say, I can't also do it, you know. 100%. No, exactly. And uh, I think Kevin, obviously, he's gone all the way as well. I mean, he's one of the guys that's really st stood out. Of course, it's a really difficult journey and it takes a very long time. But I, I mean, if you're willing to put in a lot of time into the sport of boxing, I'm sure you'll get your, your success out of it. And, um, you know, looking at like what he's done in the heavyweight division, the WBC interim champion, um, you know, he's set to now for the WBC world title. I mean, that's uh, you obviously be backing our South African guys. Uh, do you think he's going to do it? Yes, no, he's, he's doing great. I, I believe he can, like, like you said, go all the way. He's achieved so much already, already, and I'm I'm keeping a close eye on him. Um, so I'm I support him all the way. He's a great guy. I know my grandfather has met him, and also spoke very well about him. Um, so I'm just positive he's going to do great for our country, and that's what he's doing now at the moment. All right, awesome. And uh, Dylan, uh, from from you, uh, do you ever you know a message for maybe the fans, uh, the people out there that obviously are learning about you? Um, still and uh, do you have any anything a thank you a shout out for anybody i just want to shout out to my team uh the bryce's box gym again for helping me for helping me cut weight for getting me ready for this fight and to my fans um i promise uh, they won't they won't regret watching me um i'll bring the entertainment i'll bring the knockouts um and yeah that's that's all <laughs>